Hi dear friends, welcome back to part 13 episode of Java tutorial for beginner. In this section, uh, I will show you how you can use parameter in the method of your Java class uh, and Java methods. So today I want to work with pins. So open any ID you have. Eclipse, NetBeans, JetBrains, or any kind. okay so I want to create a new project or yes I want to create a new project uh, that's the name of Java tutorials okay um, it automatically uh, create a class uh, with our project name as we choose the project name java tutorials automatically it creates uh, java tutorials class inside a java tutorials package okay so today i want to show you how you can work with parameter in Java. So uh, I want to make a simple method public void or we learn the written type in the previous section so I want to uh, I want to choose the return type integer or double and the method name I want to choose at and now this is an access specifier which is specify mm, the access level of your cl uh, of your method and this is the written type and this is the method name then you open a parenthesis and close the parenthesis this is the method parenthesis inside the parenthesis here is the parameter okay parameters parameter is nothing but just the variables inside this parenthesis okay for example teacher a this is a parameter a or int double p then return a plus b okay now you can call this in the previous section uh, we used the static context the static keyword in our method because uh, without making any object just we call the method okay as you can see now we called and this is calling a method okay we call the method at and the method add has two parameters integer a and double b so we should pass two value from here an integer value and 
a double value ok now this method called but this method return uh, return the value of parameter 1 plus the value of parameter 2 so we need to take this uh, returned value ok we need take this returned value so when the returned value is double you need to a variable of type double double result is equal to a now you can print it okay result As you can see now we have the uh, return value here okay now it is very easy and simple you can you can have any kind of parameter you want for example public string get we uh, put the name the get the past value now here you can have one parameter of type string string is yes. and return this this parameter when called we need to pass any string value okay this time I want to show you how you can call uh, a non-static method in Java uh, uh, does not allow to call an anistatic method inside an static method so here if I want to call the get the passed value okay this is not my permission okay now this is the value we pass because the parameter there is one parameter and it is a string so you put some string okay so as you can see we does not have access this method so as you can see there is the written type also a string so we should take this return it value by any string okay and then we can print it still but it does not have access to this method because this method is non-static but this is an static method so what is the way so the only way you have here you should make an object of your class okay this is an object by new and the class name java tutorials okay this is an object now this is an object i want to call the class by this object we can call any method of any public method of a class or uh, any public method of a class without the object of the class but if 
if we was inside the method and we call inside from inside the method another method uh, you it does not mean that the method should be public or not okay now as you can see there is no problem I can call call this method this non-static method inside a static method by making an object of our class so let's run as you can see this is the result this is an object we can put this in an obj variable I want to make a variable obj but of type java tutorials okay so this is a variable now I want to assign an object in this variable now I assign it this object in this variable of type java tutorials so now this is an object because we assigned an object to it so now we can call by this object this method also as you can see it works nice perfect thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye and don't forget to subscribe button